have a bunch of boys here this morning as we start the week off. It looks like, I was out here a little bit earlier and there wasn't anything out here but uh, one buck. And that was about 30 minutes ago. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. All six bucks out there. You know, the last two or three mornings, we've only had five. And now I see one, two, three, four, five, six. All six of our big boys are out there. And I don't know. I don't see the donor baby. The donor baby were out there this morning with one buck. And now we have six. They're waiting for that feeder to go off. It, it uh, <clears throat> doesn't go off real early. Because <clears throat> I don't really want them showing up really early, although they do. I looked out here right after daylight, and the only thing was out here was one buck and uh, the doe and her baby. As we zoom in there, we can see how they look starting out this week. We'll watch and see if they change. I still think they're growing. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Some of y'all might look back at some of the videos and see. Look how wide Forrest is. And, of course, you can see his dad behind him. That's a beautiful shot there. You can see why Forrest is wide. Now, his dad's about seven years old, TC, back behind him, looking right at me. He's want, really looking close because Benelli's out here walking around. But you can see that uh, now that is only that is only Forrest's third set of horns. It's a deer out there with his second set of horns. And so you're seeing some various ages. Fat boy right there is a wild deer who's not born in the pen. He just has joined this group, tamed down. Which is fantastic. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. People ask if we hunt here at the ranch. We do hunt. We don't hunt around the house, obviously. And we have some bit deer that are just... We don't really necessarily put them off limits, but these guys here are pretty much off limits. Nobody's going to take these boys right here. Of course, as you get into the rutting season, some of these deers get really way far away from the house. I've seen TC two, over two miles away outside the high fence. Over two miles away outside the high fence. So think about that for a minute. But they are deer. They are white-tailed deer. And they're gorgeous, beautiful white-tailed deer. Let's get this week rolling. See if they make any changes. I just love that shot. I love every shot when I see those big boys. I love deer in velvet. Oh, I happen to look off to the right. Just happen to look out there in the woods. And there's mom and baby laying right there. I'll zoom in on them. mom and baby there. They kind of, they're fa facing out toward the woods. They kind of look like they're kind of on watch, watching for kind of a lookout deer. <laughs> for the, uh, the big boys, and uh, but there she is, a beautiful baby. And she's hanging around here a lot. She's tamed down a lot. They don't pay any attention to Vanelli. Vanelli would love to play with them, but I've uh, told her no a couple of times, and she's pretty much just left them alone since. She knows that she's not supposed to get around them. Of course, they'll run for her. But uh, getting into the rut season, they might not run from her. They might stand their ground. And uh, obviously she had learned a lesson real quick to not mess with a big old buck deer, deer full of weapons on his head because by golly, we got them. But that's new life on the ranch right there. It's always great to see the babies. Chris and I made it back from the trip. We actually added one day to the trip uh, instead of coming back uh, the day after we spoke at First Baptist Conroe where we had just an astounding incredible full house uh, so many great people down there so many people uh, that uh, came there because of social media so many my buddy Jerry, Jimmy Durham down there went all around the area making sure everybody knew that we were coming that night it's just a spectacular service uh, lots of prizes and great great food great barbecue uh, hot links and, and uh, brisket just absolutely outstanding potato salad everything was just great and uh, and uh, but uh, my buddy Boyd Walker, my retired highway patrol buddy, y'all have seen him on Jimmy Houston Outdoors as well as in on our YouTube channels. And uh, Boyd uh, been fighting cancer for the last couple years. And uh, Boyd uh, walked on into glory. He's fishing fishing holes up there probably this evening. That he's probably saying, I can't wait to tell Jimmy about these. I can't wait to show Jimmy. And one of these days he'll get a chance to show Jimmy those fishing holes, that's for sure. But um, so I, I went on back to Sherry's as opposed to driving uh, back to the ranch. We drove uh, about 460 miles or something back to Sherry's and got there 
late last night and uh, I went to Boyd's funeral this morning and uh, Paula, his uh, beautiful wife uh, for 43 years, I believe, just a outstanding lady and, and just a great, great service. So many, the, the church was completely packed, balcony and everything was full and uh, my buddy Scott Meacham, who was the, the treasurer here in the state. Come here, Beamer, Beamer, come here, Beamer, come here, come, come on, come on. Leave the deer alone, don't you be looking at him. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl, good girl. Uh, but uh, he was the other speaker, and of course we had a great preacher who was a chaplain for the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. So uh, we had a lot of highway patrolmen there, and uh, and it just uh, it was just a really really a special service. Benelli, sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Uh, she sits, but she doesn't realize she's supposed to stay sitting until I tell her to move. But uh, these are the deer that was waiting on us. Mr. Forrest, of course, and it uh, looks like that's, uh, I don't know, that's probably maybe Lucky 13 over there. I can't tell. And our mama with her baby. The baby has just uh, become a fixture here at the house, which is fantastically wonderful. Both of those are wild deer, that doe and the baby, and so it's so cool to have them here. And uh, they've uh, taken the lessons from the big bucks that hang around. There probably will be more here as the evening goes on. It's under 100 degrees, 95 degrees. Actually rained. It was raining this morning uh, over on Lake Tenkiller when we came out of the church, and uh, it quit raining before we got to the cemetery. And uh, so it was totally dry out there as we, we showed our final respects to a great friend, a great friend, Boyd Walker. Great highway patrolman, been in law enforcement all his life. Worked for the Tahlequah City Police Department, Muskogee Police Department, and I think Locust Grove, or, uh, and uh, became a uh, Oklahoma State Trooper. You know, in the in all, ever since the State Troopers were founded back in the 30s, there's only been 2,500 State Troopers here in Oklahoma. 2,500. We have about three or four million people in the state, so that's that's all of those years. How many years that is? 100 years, just about close to it, um, all of the millions of people here in Oklahoma and only 2,500 select chosen individuals to be Oklahoma State Troopers and uh, just absolutely fantastic to have them as a friend and we're a little different than some other states, we're a little different than they are out on the coast, we love our law enforcement, we believe we need them and we respect them, we honor them, we pay homage to them and, uh, and, uh, and they give our, our, they put their lives on the, on the, life, on the line for us every single day and we love our Oklahoma State Troopers. We love our local police, our Cherokee Nation police over there in, in uh, the Nation Police. We are lucky in these Indian territories like over here and uh, the Chickasaws and over home with the Cherokees that we have we have more law enforcement than, than most areas, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So what a great thing to come back to and, and see two big bucks out there waiting for us and maybe one little bitty buck. We don't know. He's a pretty good-sized deer, so we just don't know. Well, taking a nice close look at the bucks as Chris Chris comes down the way. You can see right there, five beautiful bucks. There was six out here a little earlier. We'll zoom in on them as they're all looking there. Oh, there's six of them there, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Two, four, six. I thought that one of them was, had its head behind a tree and I thought it was a girl. But you can see how they all look there. Chris in her Sunday finest. She didn't want me to put that cheap necklace on, but I did anyway. She said, it makes me look cheap. <laughs> I cannot tell you, she's not cheap. <laughs> Honey, you see all your bucks out there? Uh -huh. Yeah, look at all of them. And the baby's out there too. Baby's over laying down by that tree. Look in the other direction. You see him right in through there. I'll zoom in, there he is. I don't know, we call him a he or a she, but that is gorgeous right there. Chris gets to get a nice look at him. Just absolutely fantastic. Everybody looking huge and big, just beautiful. Look at that shot right there. That's four of them close together. We have to call that just antlers. Just have to call it antlers. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. What a picture, what a picture, what a picture. You ever seen antlers on an eagle? Well, you see antlers on this eagle, Twin Eagle Ranch. Golly. 
and a baby out there. We had a couple of babies out here earlier. Oh, look at that over there. They really groom around on each other. I think they remove a lot of those ticks when the ticks get larger too. But now that block right out there has got uh, garlic in it. it Maybe sulfur as well, but it's got garlic in it. And that really seems to help with the flies and stuff. A little wind blowing today, a little cooler. I don't know if we're gonna make 100. Made exactly 100 here to Eagle yesterday. Yeah, you treat her nice, TC. Yes, sir. Another 105 day, 105, Isn't that something? Just like an everyday deal almost, it seems like. Benelli, Benelli, come here. Come here, Benelli. Come here, heel. Another 105 day. Go over there to feed her. Come here, Benelli. Over to feed her, several bucks are feeding. Little baby doe laying back here. Come here, Benelli. Benelli, come here. Come here. Heel, heel, heel. I'm getting out toward the pen. Apache is, uh, <laughs> Apache's got a, got the gang all gathered up. Come here, Benelli. Come here. Come here. You leave them alone. Let them eat. Sit. 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 Good girl. <laughs> you got a crowd, Apache. You got a crowd of bucks there too. Come here, Benelli. Benelli, come here. See it. See it. You stay. You stay right there. Quit biting. No. I believe they like a nose. Did your baby drink any milk? Yeah, she drank three ounces from last time. She just drinks about two and a half. Did she drink some this evening? Yeah, about two and a half. That other one still in the same spot? No, it's just down there. Okay, so it's doing good. Yeah. It's 105 degree days. These 105 degree days, hard on those babies. <laughs> uh, Forrest, you're too late. Oh no, Forrest got there too late. <laughs> Forrest, he who snoozes loses. Look at him and Prince Charming. That's not a pair of beautiful bucks. That's Forrest's third horns. That's Prince Charming's third horns. Uh-oh. Got some little something found there. A little watermelon? A little watermelon. Look at Benelli, come here. Benelli. Come here. See it. Benelli wants to go up there to those deer so bad. She's sitting right here at my feet. <laughs> Little Whitey, he's working on a watermelon too. These are pretty pampered deer, I guarantee you. Patsy's got them spoiled. No wonder he's got so many girlfriends. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, they clean things up pretty good, too. Rose and split ear. Oh. Prince Charming want a little watermelon, too? Yeah, I'll have some of that watermelon, right? You bet. You there. <laughs> How good is that? You got some old bread there too? Yes, sir. I got an old loaf of bread in there myself, it's getting pretty old. It's a big roll. It's not really a loaf of bread, it's a big roll. 
I guess it was somewhere and got old. Started molding. Manufacturing penicillin. Look at that. <laughs> How sweet it is. Eating away. Eating away. Look back over toward the big bucks. And you can see that they're about to clean up everything over there. The feeder just gone off. And they're working on that. A little baby was there somewhere. She, oh, there she is. He or she, we don't know. And that's his mama right there, or her mama. She becoming pretty much a fixture. Got two babies coming to the house now. I'm telling you what, Mr. TC, he is a big one. Fat boy. He is a big one, just an eight point. Oh, he is. And then lucky number 13. Where are you, lucky number 13? Oh, there he comes. God, will you look at that? No, I don't know if that's him or not. God, what a buck. Look at all. Oh, come here. No. Look at all of that. Oh, my God. Does that deer even have a tag? I'm not even sure that. Oh, yeah, he's got a white tag. Yeah. He's the same age as Forrest, and he is a beauty. Wow. 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 